everybody, that's a kind of meat mobility special, even though that there are only two thirds of us over here from the yeah, meat mobility yeah. team. We still couldn't make it, but uh, we made it and uh, we saw some cool stuff here. What? Well, actually, we need to tell people where we are. We are over here at the Innovation Qualcomm 2010 in London, and our Qualcomm CEO, Paul Jacobs, was showing a couple of different devices and gave a little outlook what's coming from Qualcomm in the near yeah, future. Yeah. What I picked up there, LTE going strong, I really, really... Actually, I might, may, may see that in November in, in, uh, in Stockholm, so... <laughs> Another event to go, but hey, we saw also some good forecast for overall data usage uh, gadgets to... Well, absolutely. I mean, some impressive numbers, just to let you know. Um, the, the traffic that mobile devices will create over 3G, 4G, LTE, whatever you want to name it, in, by 2014 would exceed the total traffic in one month, in one month in 2014, would exceed the overall traffic, the total traffic of 2008. Yeah. So that's amazing, this growth rate. And, and let, let's give people some... Um, some impressions about um, the new Snapdragon platforms means the 1.5 gigahertz yep. should be available the first device by Q1 2011 yep. and the dual core should be available in the first half of the half. So 1.5 gigahertz dual core designed for smart books they say but they are kind of evolving to tablets right now. So. Well, well ab absolutely and I think it makes kind of sense. Yeah, so totally. what, what, what their CEO was telling us you know the smart book category is now also embracing the so-called tablet. Well, actually, that really sounds like a smart book. A tablet is yeah, actually yeah. But I would like actually love to see great designs on on a smart book platform. A little bit go over the the Google uh, Android stuff. Uh, we know it's not capable of everything, but right. the stuff it does it does well. So Google marketplaces on on uh, those devices that's a needed needed thing. Right now we don't see that. Toshiba and uh, and HP both launched their devices and no marketplace yes. there. 3G, that's of course uh, uh, great on, on those. But still, smartphone doesn't seem to fly where the tablets are flying high right now. Absolutely. But and what I definitely would like to see the first tablet is coming out with the Mirasol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, actually, that's something I have to say right now. I think Mirasol is great for the e-books, yeah. not for tablets yet. So we have to see that evolve to something. something well, you, know, uh, you know, the thing uh, is, what they were always showing on the show for whether it's here or whether it was uh, during Uplink 2010 or Mobile World Congress yeah. is the same old kind of demo platform. Yeah. And we also have this 5.6 inch running version with only uh, 50 frames per second. But they already told us, okay, internally we have a 25 FIPS version yeah. running in our labs yeah. and they, sh they should be available next year. So if, if I can get a, a, a tablet with a mirror saw display, 25 frames per second, I, that, that's gonna be a killer product. But that one we saw, it's not, in my eyes, Pixel T is better for tablet, this is better for even readers. But I'm hoping the best. So okay, besides we'll that, um, lots of augmented reality, oh, oh man, lots, of, cool. lots of Snapdragons all yeah. over the place. We saw some great uh, graphic demos where you can yeah. really see uh, the GPU performance that Qualcomm is providing to the mobile computing market. Definitely some game changes, yeah. Yeah. in my opinion in terms of performance even ahead of a PSP or a Sony DS, uh, not, not a Sony, but a Nintendo DS. Yeah. I saw a so, uh, Sony or Nintendo fanboys out there who makes that one up. I know they're so... Yeah, seeing new Sony fanboy. Huh? Oh, well, actually, I'm a new Sony fanboy. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. And of course, I'm also, I'm also uh, using um, the Gobi module from Qualcomm in this one. So it has uh, 3G, yeah. uh, HSUPA uh, Plus, and I'm really happy with it. Yeah. Uh, besides that, we saw some tablets, like if I was tablet show or whatever that's called, yeah. but S S7 from, uh, from Huawei. We saw the Foxconn version that is also uh, our, uh, where, 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 where. Sonic is branding yeah. it as a view pad, yeah, view uh, and that's, that. that's, that's about it. Yeah. But anyway, it's a great event, yep. again, that, that Qualcomm set up over here, let's say over here, about a hundred people. Um, just for some three or four hours, see the device, having a good presentation, you know, that, that, that's the way we love it. And uh, that's the way we can produce a lot of content without bumping into a yeah.